Good morning Year 4, uh, this is my hints and tips video for week 8, lesson 4, um, symmetric figures uh, and it should be a quick video today because mainly it will be developing the skills and understanding that we worked on yesterday, okay? So we're just going to go straight into looking at the sort of sheets today. Um, they are the classroom secrets ones. So I suggest what you do is everybody completes the developing and the expected. Um, and then those of you who want to go on further can complete the greater depth. Right. Okay, so we know the questions are the same um, across all three levels of um, sheet. They just get um, a progressively a little more complex, but the essence of the question is the same. Okay, so with the classroom secrets, you need to make sure that you read the question and answer the question. All right, so question 1a, what is the smallest number of squares that need to be filled so that this pattern has a horizontal line of symmetry? So horizontal is our line going across from left to right or right to left. Okay, and again, I advise you work systematically. All right. And remember, it is asking you how many squares okay, need to be filled to make the horizontal line of symmetry. Here we go. Um, question 2a, add three squares to the pattern below so that it has a vertical line of symmetry. So we should need to add three squares, so again, systematically, okay, what is the same and what is different, alright, so work out where those three squares, where those three squares need to go to complete the vertical line of symmetry, okay, and then the last question, just going to have a quick look. Spot the odd one out. All right, so you've got to think uh, do all of the patterns have a vertical line of symmetry? Do all of the patterns have a horizontal line of symmetry? Or do all of the patterns have no line of symmetry at all? Okay, but which one is the odd one out? All right, and then the last part of that question, and I've seen some work over these few days where this part of the question, explain your choice has not been completed, okay? So why have you chosen that pattern, that shape, okay? Um, what is it that is different for that one than all the others, than the other ones, okay? All right, so really kind of today you'll see the questions are the same on the expected what is the smallest number of squares that need to be filled so that this pattern has a vertical line of symmetry again make sure you answer the question all right so what is the smallest number of squares Okay, so colour them in and then count them. Alright, going through. 
and this time rather than add four, uh, three squares to the pattern like we did for the developing, this time we need to add four squares to the pattern below so that it has a vertical line of symmetry. Right, so our vertical line of symmetry is the one going up and down. Okay, so come across. So we've got to add four squares. Where are they going to go? Keep working systematically. And we should need to add four squares to complete the pattern. And then that last one again is about spotting the odd one out and explaining your choice. Okay, work, work hard, have fun. Um, I'm really uh, impressed with the work that's coming through on the dojo, so um, make sure if you can that you submit one piece of maths and one piece of English each week um, and work hard, have fun.